Parisi Speed School of Chicago. You see these young athletes? They're here so that they can increase their speed because it's all about speed and get better at their sport of choice. Everyone from swimmers to track and field to football players. And so the ages range. You can see that you have some teenagers, some little kids, and we'll tell you why they do this kind of workout around town from the West Loop today. Larry and Robin, I thought I was going to join them until I showed up and saw that most of them could be my children and that this is for athletes, so I'm out. Come on. I'm, out. I'm just going to Here we go. You look great, kids. You look great. <laughs> yes, I am. What a cruel joke for a Monday morning. But I'm working out with young athletes. They are part of the Parisi Speed School. Rodriguez Oakman is here with yes. me. Good morning. Now, this is the reason I won't work out with Why? these guys. Look at what they're going to do now. Explain this to us. Go ahead, guys. This is an acceleration drill. Mm -hmm. So the goal is to help build their strength to stay at 45 oh, degrees. Mm -hmm. And, all right. So we put some resistance on them, really forcing arm action and contact to the ground. You can see that their body's at 45 degrees, which is the optimum position for acceleration. Why, what kind of sport is this good for? Every sport. Mm -hmm. Every sport requires speed. Faster is better, period. Perfect. Just the way Faster it goes. is better. All right, Faster when we come better. back around town, we will show you more from Parisi Speed School at Pow Gym in the West Loop. Amazing guys, you're watching WGM Morning News. We will be right back. We're working out with young athletes. What are they gonna do now, Kellen? Another acceleration drill. We mm -hmm. call this the plate push. You were saying the youngest ones are the best at this. They can be. Go they're, guys, let's see. They're fast pushers. And this is a very low well, right? Yes, it's very total body. It's got a lot of core strength involved. It's uh, really focusing on their thighs driving forward. Perfect. When we come back, we'll have more. You're watching WGM Morning News. Could you describe this for us? Because it's meant for young athletes. It is. It is the most successful youth sports performance program in the country. Mm -hmm. What does it involve? It involves building better athletes. So we want to take them from good to great. We don't assume that children know how to run properly, that they have the mechanics to jump correctly. Mm -hmm. So we're here to lay that foundation for them so they can be great at any sport they choose. So are most of the kids that we're looking at now in some team sport or not necessarily? Well, we have uh, Jesse in the back is a judo player, mm -hmm. oh, uh, okay. and the little one in the red mm -hmm. plays judo. The rest of them are also doing some team sports, mm -hmm. although he's in track and field, she's in track and field. Mm -hmm. So we have swimmers, basketball, Why does it varsity work for ball. every sport? Because the foundation of athletics still comes down to the ability to jump well, land well, decelerate, accelerate, relative body strength. These are all critical elements of all athletics. How does this work, Kettlin? Is it? We run a program that has 40 plus classes a week for kids and actually another 40 for adults every week. Mm -hmm. uh, however, our teams often train in the morning. So, for example, St. Ignatius Varsity Football mm -hmm. trains at 6 a.m. in the morning. It creates some nice discipline mm -hmm. and structure for these athletes, which is wonderful. Do you mix ages? We normally do not. Okay. We are showcasing for from our peewees, which right. is six years old, right. all the way up to our high school and college athletes. T over there being, um, you know, a young college track and field athlete. We're putting them together so that you can see a cross section of how it doesn't matter what age you are, you still need to run, jump, land, and mechanics is key. Mm -hmm. So always group sessions? Uh, they are small group Got sessions, it. yes. Mm -hmm. So various classes have certain cutoffs and that is because the curriculum mm -hmm. is designated or predetermined and that takes us more time to work with athletes individually mm -hmm. so those classes have fewer children in Mechanics is key. What does that mean? The mechanics and the proper technique for running, jumping, changing directions. Oh. For example, mm -hmm. it's just as important for a linear speed athlete like a track and field like mm -hmm. T, like T. Mm -hmm. to work
work on change of direction because we want the lateral portion of their leg to develop strength. We don't want ACL injuries. Injury. injuries. Exactly. Got it. So we are ingraining in them that speed is a skill and mm -hmm. faster is better. So if you want to keep getting faster, you got to keep working on your skills. When we come back around time, I want to ask you about maybe kids that are not necessarily youth athletes, yep. but you want to keep them going because they run all the time Absolutely. in your condo maybe and yes. they're driving you nuts. We have a great program for them called Total Conditioning and we make fitness fun. Oh, I love that. When we come back, we'll, we'll talk about that from the West Loop at Pau Parisi Speed School in Chicago. Guys, for now, back to you. Thanks, Anna. Working out at Pau Gym, actually, with young athletes. They're part of a program that's called Parisi Speed School. And I'm here with Helen, who's part one of the owners. We were talking earlier about, we're, we're calling them athletes, but you also have group classes for those kids that you need to maintain active, but they not necessarily are part of a sport. We call it total conditioning classes. Okay. And we still teach the foundation of movement so that they are comfortable in their body being movers forever. But we feature tons of games. Okay. Tic-tac-toe, you just, everybody knows how to play from Colt who's six all the way to our older athletes that are in our 20s. I love it. I love yeah. this idea of getting the kids off the couch because they have all that pent up energy and we don't have outdoor activities until yeah you gotta pay for everything you can't get it all in school i know that's true that's true and, and you know physical education is not at every, every, every school, school every day all right when we come back we'll have more from her easy speed school in the west loop around town this morning back to you guys yep. we are unique indeed okay so we are training some young athletes at Parisi Speed School in the West Loop. I'm here with Helen. You are talking about this machine earlier with me. Tell me about the Vertimax. So it allows you to take sports movements a little bit higher level, adding some resistance. Mm -hmm. And here we're really forcing them to use their whole body to get vertical jumps. So, But, you know, I'm thinking these are young kids. They're in the process of growing. Do you guys take that into consideration too? Sure. And the machine is designed to provide consistent resistance throughout the entire movement. Mm -hmm. So it's not like if you took weights and you jumped and you really had quality resistance at one small phase of the movement. That would be more contraindicated to them. Got it. All right. So these machines are very well designed. You like a mom. That's and, and that's a good thing. <laughs> and that's a good thing. And when I buy stuff, I think like a mom. And I make sure it's the right thing exactly. for the kids here. All right. When we come back, we'll tell you more from uh, Parisi around town this morning from the West Loop. Back to you guys. I'm not around town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. We're at Pound Gym in the West Loop. Uh, but here they have kind of like an academy for young athletes called Parisi. I've been spending the morning with Kellen watching these kids work out, going the extra mile for their sport and their athletic ability. Good morning. Good morning. What are we seeing now? So this is part of our change of direction lesson plan. So this is a skater drill, really focusing on them learning how to change out their feet and most importantly, control their weight distribution, which is what you need when you change directions, no matter what sport. No matter what sport. So we're not talking that this is just for your basketball player, football player. This can be for any kind of athlete. Sure. We have two swimmers in the crowd, uh -huh. and sure, they may not change directions like we think of as a running back. Right. However, the integrity of their their joints and the strength of the side of their knees mm -hmm. and everything is just as important. So this will also help to mitigate injuries like ACL and knee problems, which are very common, for example, yeah. in young teenage girls. Yeah. Small group sizes yeah. in the mornings and in the afternoons. Yeah. Most of our classes are after school Got and it. on the weekends. Perfect. And I wanted to talk to Cecily. Are the swimmers yours? They are. Okay, why did you want them to come and pr and practice here? Well, we knew that this would increase their on-land exercises, would increase their joint stability, it would increase uh, core strength, make them stronger, more coordination, more balance, more confidence. What level of swimming are they currently performing at? So Maya, my oldest, is 11. She is a currently a state-level swimmer. Got it. And she has a set quite a, she, she set two individual st Illinois state records, records. Okay. and she's been on record setting relay teams. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I feel that Parisi has done for my younger one, who's seven, uh -huh. is given her confidence and uh, the ability to swim long distance races and not even worry about the distance or the endurance. Right, right, not be focused on that because you were talking, uh, Kellen, earlier that it's all about 
the speed nowadays. Yeah, without getting injured. Mm -hmm. You know, that's really important. So mitigating injuries in these young athletes' bodies while giving them technical and mechanical skills, while also increasing their work capacity. So right now they're doing the 5-10-5, which is the classic agility drill. Mm -hmm. And this is something we measure. Mm -hmm. We take times on this. That's what we were talking about, because you were saying, even though it's group lessons, you individualize it enough that you know how much each, each child can give you per workout or per yeah. exercise routine. We do. We know we because it's a small environment within these classes, we have constant metrics like a report card on these kids. We're reviewing this on a weekly basis. Perfect. That's what makes us just so much better than just go throw your kids in any kind of workout class. Right. It's great, but we're here to build their mechanics. Perfect. All right. It was great to meet you. Cecily, thank you so much. Thank you. That's around town for Monday morning, guys. Back to you.